Hi, in this demo, I want to show you how you can use criteria to decide whether to show or hide records, whether to show or hide um, parts of your document. And this criteria can actually be used on almost every config type in a PDF Butler. So let's take a look on how to use uh, criteria. What is the use case? We have a document, of course, and in this document, we want to repeat all of the products, but we only want to repeat hardware products here and all of the other products we want to repeat here in this paragraph list. Next to that, of course, we want to show or hide this kind of block here yeah, because when our customer goes for uh, an, uh, a bronze SLA, we might want to upsell him to a uh, gold SLA, giving him 10% discount. Okay, let's start building this use case. We have our overview of products. You can see there is uh, four hardware products. There's these ones and these are other. So these are not hardware products. And these are the ones we want to put in the, uh, in the paragraph list, this one. Cool, let's start building. And first of all, I already created a doc config. I created a data source uh, that gets, catches the, uh, the opportunities. So this is easy and I'm going to add these already. I'm going to get all of my opportunity products. Okay, that's that. Uh, let's take a look because here I should have have uh, an extra field. No, I don't have it. So I let me add it. I have to add an extra field for the uh, um, opportunity products. And this field is going to be the uh, family of the product. So I'm going to filter product, product code, product ID. I'm going to follow this uh, relationship. And then here there must be a field called product family. Add, and it's now added to my list here. So let's save this. Save the query. My field is now there. Update my data source. Okay, everything I need is currently here. Next step, I'm gonna create my row. So I'm gonna create a config type of table row. Type table row, data source, our products, of course, the merge field I just copied. So this is the one I need. And next, I'm gonna, of course, create my all of my single items here. Okay, that's easy, that's very fast. So let me quickly get that done. Uh, okay, and that is uh, the quantity. I'm gonna go for no formatting. The formatting of the, of the quantity and the numbers, it's something we do in another demo. So you can look into that one for the formatting and the total price. Okay, this is currency formatted. Okay, the price is there. Now, when I save this and when I generate it, it will show all products eh? because I didn't create any criteria or didn't create any filters on this, uh, on this item. So as you can see here, all of my products are there. No filters to be seen or shown. Okay, next up, I'm going to create my criteria, my filter to only show uh, the hardware products. Uh, okay, this is add condition and I'm going to go for my data source um, of the opportunity products. It has a field called product to family and it has to equal hardware. Okay, let's do this. Save this and regenerate this document. As you can see, now the filter has worked. It only shows my hardware products. So for the products with the type, uh, the family other, I want to put in this list. So that's the next thing I'm going to configure. And I'm going to go here, add my config type. And you know that it's going to be a paragraph config type because I want to repeat. I'm going to go again through the opportunity products uh, data source. So I'm going to reuse this one. So we have one data source. And with the criteria, we just filter out the data we actually need. Okay, that's that. Now let me add my single to actually fill in the value of this uh, product name that I want to fill. Okay, and last but not least, I'm going to change this one to add my criteria. Same thing here, I'm going to use my opportunity products to data source. As you can see, you can get uh, values from any data source that you have. 
and the, the, it was a product family has to equal other. Or of course you can say um, it's uh, different than hardware. Let's do that. Okay, all of these types are possible. You can of course add multiple conditions, create groups where you can say N and R. So all of that stuff is uh, all there. Okay, save this one. Now let's go back to the generation part. I'm gonna click the button and when the document is generated, perfect, I get all of the hardware products here and all of the other products are in my uh, numbered list, um, only filtered out the ones that are not hardware. That's cool. So that already shows how you can do criteria on the table row, on a paragraph, of course, very simple um, demos here, but these can be quite complex and you can combine information from multiple data sources into these criteria and validate until you have exactly the values or the, uh, the criteria that you want. Next up, the most difficult one or the most cool one, huh? as you can see here, I have uh, the 10% discount when there is a gold uh, SLA. Of course, uh, this is now showing, but if we would change it to a gold SLA, then uh, it should disappear. So we also need to work with some criteria here. Let me take a step back and show you how I actually created this box. This box is actually a simple table. It's a one cell table, so I just inserted a one cell table uh, here. Okay, let me insert it here. A one cell table. I told this table that uh, and table properties that I do not want any left or right margins. So I just uh, remove all of the margins. Huh? So I did that here in options and then I told this uh, table to not have any borders. So I set the borders to zero. Okay, what we currently have is a table that will not show on the document. As you can see here, it doesn't show that it's in a table. You actually do not know it, you do not see it. So that's exactly what we want eh, for our discount as well. Okay, let me clean this up. I'm gonna delete this uh, table and like this. So now, how to decide that when this uh, when this uh, discount block has to show? First of all, I want to only show it when uh, the there is a bronze uh, SLA, and second, I only want to show it when our customer type is new customer. So let's go back here. We see that our customer is indeed an existing customer upgrade. So, and we have the bronze one. So let me show you how I would go about that. First step is I'm gonna go to my opportunity data source. Data sources, opportunity. Let's use the filter here opportunity data source in the opportunity data source i'm going to add the uh, the type um, of the opportunity so the opportunity type okay that's done and i'm going to save this query so the opportunity type is there now we can use that opportunity type to filter on yeah? so we can filter on that this is a new customer second i created a data source that actually counts the bronze sla so this data source, as you can see here below, it has a count in it and this count has an alias. So you have to be able to write some circle here, but you can just copy paste this example, of course. So it takes it from the opportunity line item. It's a single data source, also very important. And of course we have this uh, product code on which we wanna filter on because this is the product code of our bronze SLA. It has to be related to our opportunity. Of course, yeah, if you want to uh, filter on, uh, count on all the uh, opportunity line items that have a bronze SLA, that will not be correct in your, uh, in your use case. So that filter is still important. Cool. Uh, so we have our data sources to use and we're just gonna add this now to our uh, doc config. Add the data source has a bronze SLA. Okay, I'm gonna put this as a number. 
Okay, and next up, I want to add my opportunities data source. So uh, opportunity data source. So this one is here. Click the OK button. That's our data sources. Now we're going to create a validation a criteria on a uh, table config type to show or hide this table. Okay show discount that's our table i'm gonna make it of type table um, this one the data source i'm gonna take a single data source so let's for instance take opportunity it doesn't really matter if you take an uh, um, a list data source then of course it will start uh, looping through this list and repeating the uh, the table multiple times for every item in that data source so when we take a single data source it will only try to process this table one time so let's link it to a single data source, the merge field I've just copied. I don't care about these settings, so you can just leave them empty. This is uh, if you want to replicate the table, huh? so uh, copy the table multiple times for every uh, um, up for, for multiple records in the data source. Uh, as we have only one record, we don't care about it. And uh, we're going to have a remove uh, a merge field action. In this case, we actually want to remove the entire paragraph from, from this merge field. We don't want to see the merge field anymore, and we don't even want a placeholder for the merge field. OK, containing paragraph, click the OK button. I go to my uh, show discount table. And as you saw already, you can just do your add conditions as before, just here. So first of all, I'm going to add a condition on my uh, has bronze SLA. It has to uh, be bigger than zero. Means that there should be at least one bronze SLA. So when there is more than one bronze SLA, we're going to uh, show this table. But not only bronze SLA, I'm going to add a condition here. And the condition is going to be on our opportunity data source. And it's going to be on the type. The type has to equal, in our case, uh, let's take a look. Um, it has to equal new customer. So I'm just going to copy this, uh, this, this content here. And I'm going to paste it here. So it has to, the bronze has, uh, the count of the bronze SLA is to be bigger than zero. And it has to be, the type has to be new customer. And only then it will show the paragraph. OK, save to server. The saving checks out. So it should now show it huh, because we have the type new customer and there was a bronze SLA. So let me click the button. And indeed, it does show. As you see as well, the uh, merge field has disappeared. That's because of our remove merge field action. Let's now make sure it doesn't show. What in the case that our uh, our contact is or our opportunity is not for a new customer, but is for an existing customer. And in this case, yeah, for some reason, we don't want to give him the 10% discount. So change some data and what you see, indeed, our uh, criteria that has actually worked. So we don't see this box anymore. Everything looks great. Everything as we want it. Thanks for watching. I hope it's uh, solved all of your questions.